Let me quickly get to our Abuja studio, where we have the former governor of Lagos uh, during the military era, uh, Buba, retired military officer Buba Marwa, who joins us from Abuja studio now. Uh, thank you so much for coming on, on the program tonight. Uh, let, let's get, quickly get your reaction on the issues of the ad, uh, adoptions and endorsements of candidates. I, I know you and some retired military officers have endorsed uh, uh, President Muhammad Buhari of the APT. Your reasons, and you perhaps have heard what uh, Chief Edwin Clark has said about the reasons why they adopted and endorsed uh, the PDP's candidate uh, Atiku Abubakar on the issues of restructuring. Thank you very much uh, for the invitation to be on this program. And I also say good evening to Chief Edwin Clark, who I, I know very well. Um, let me begin with the question of the um, endorsements. The endorsements on President Muhammad Buhari by all and sundry, including military officers retired, who, most of who are not politicians, is based on the fact that we all want good governance. We want to leave the country for our children and our grandchildren in good form, in good shape. And the business of governance and leadership depends on who you trust. And you tend to trust a person who has been in office, who has performed before. Somebody who is tested is the person that you can trust. And looking at the spectrum of activities of the President Buhari administration, his three-point agenda, beginning with corruption, which even Chief Clark admitted he was in love with it and, and he supports it. The best kind of leader is the leader who leads by example. A leader who says, do as I do, not do as I say. That's President Muhammad Buhari. He's incorruptible, he's upright, he has integrity, he's honest. There isn't even a whiff of a scandal around his name. When you say this contract to build this road, this 10% is for President Buhari, anybody that says that you know he's crazy because absolutely this would never happen. So the fight against corruption, he's leading it by example and it is working. And people have seen it. That's why they endorse him as a leader who is leading by example, who is incorruptible. This is just the first aspect of why people endorse him. And second, you look at the other areas of his performance, like the security field. We used to have bombings everywhere, in Abuja, in Kano, Meduguri, everywhere across the country, bombings and bombings, the plazas and so on. Where are those bombings today? They have stopped because somebody is at the back working to make sure that these things stop. What about the IPOB? Once upon a time, the whole country was aflame with the matter of one Biafra, one Biafra, and so on and so forth. Where is that now? Silent. What about the headers crisis, farmers, cutting across Taraba, Benue, and that part of the country? That also gone silent, suddenly, because somebody is behind doing some good work. The militancy in the Niger Delta once upon a time, we were producing one third of our capacity. But today, that is fully back, and they've been silenced because somebody is at the back doing some work. So there is performance in the area of security. Boko Haram, as I speak to you now, there was a time that the Boko Haram was in Adabang State, and actually in my own home, they lived in my house for eight months in Michika. Now they've been driven right out of Adamawa out of Borno State, over 17 local governments, and out into the Lake Chad, where they will sink, finally, and drown. So somebody is working. Okay. And uh, he's tested. Point, That's why people endorse him, because uh, they believe sorry. this man is doing something. So if yes. I may butt in quickly on, on that note, uh, mm -hmm. the issue of restructuring, do you consider it mm -hmm. as a very important uh, point in your endorsement and in your signing up? on the candidacy of President Muhammad Buhari, just like the other groups said, they trust uh, Atiku Abubakar that he will do restructuring. Do you think President Muhammad Buhari Absolutely. would do it? 
President Muhammad Buhari believes in structuring, but each time he asks the question for them, the other side, to define it. Because the APC as a party has set up the committee under Governor Erufai. They have looked at it, and they have supported it. And it's out in the public domain. So uh, actually, no one would say the APC or the president does not support restructuring. In any case, the matter of restructuring will end in National Assembly because it's constitutional. When you talk of reversing back to previous governments, for instance, like parliamentary, that's fine. You know, this is about interest. And if you have an interest, nobody will, you know, quarrel with it. In the business of democracy, it's interest, what you want. But it will go to the National Assembly. I think that's where we should all get our loins and prepare to fight it out there. The two sides, the two presidential candidates support the structuring. It's just that they does not appear to, to, there does not appear to be a convergence on exactly whether the meanings that they both have are identical. But the APC believes, accepts, and agrees in it. Okay. Uh, at this point, let's, say, let's take a pause. We'll get your final thoughts on some of these issues regarding the endorsement. We'll also get back to Chief Edwin Clark. But we'll take a moment on the program. And when we come back, it's getting heated in the land because we are entering into the uh, last week before the election. We'll hear the 2019 farm mutations. My panel on the program, when we come back, we'll be looking at this and many more. Can you see?